Yo, what's up, everybody? How y'all doing today, man? First thing first, thank you for your love and your support. I highly appreciate it. Can't express it enough. Real talk, real shit. So anyways, y'all, we will get straight into the video, man. What you looking at right now is your girl slash your boy, Raven Simone. Okay, so um, this video right here, man, I just want to let y'all know that it took some time because, you know, I'm starting to learn a lot of different things that goes on in Hollywood. And I'm starting to figure out people questions. Um, I'm starting to figure out answers to their questions. And some of their questions I don't really have answers to, which is common, okay? So the first thing, let's just start off with the fact that today's day, Jada Pinkett is playing the role of Raven Simone, right? Now, the question to be asked for that theory that I'm putting out there, right? Based off my evidence, right? This is my opinion, okay? Y'all got to understand that how can I back that up? Because the Raven Samoan that we see on a Cosby show that we seen as a little girl, where is that little girl at? Because Jada Pika Smith couldn't possibly be her as a little girl. You see, this is what makes everything hard and difficult because when you're trying to solve something, you got to try to answer as much as you can as far as what you know and what you can find an answer for. And so that's when things start getting kind of kind of crazy. So if you look at Raven Simone, as y'all see on the picture here, she clearly, I mean, she clearly, y'all, uh, this is two different people, okay? If you look at the Raven Simone that I showed y'all, her ears are detached and the other ones are, are pretty much connected to her, her face, okay? So, so where is this Raven Simone that we see, that we seen growing up that was on the Bill Cosby show? Based off my research, again, I feel like she's playing the role of Trippy Red, okay? This will make plenty of sense for a lot of reasons, okay? Because when you think about it, what are they doing to these kids, right? So if you go back to Orlando Brown, for an example, right? It, is it, it, are we looking at the same Orlando Brown when he was little? Are we looking at somebody that highly favors Orlando Brown? You see? So what they do is they start off, okay, well, this is your kid actress and our actor, OK, they go on and playing another role in Hollywood. OK, so you got Raven Simone who's playing Trippy Red. So you would never this way right here, y'all. It's almost impossible for you to ever figure out, figure it out. Right. Because you will be thinking like, dude, if Raven Simone was a kid and then she, you saying that she's playing Trippy Red. How in the world can Jada Pika be playing her? Because this is exactly what they're doing. This is why they wear masks to disguise you. OK. And inside of Hollywood, man, there's a whole lot of other stuff going on, man, like superhuman stuff that's going on. This is really, really creepy, man. I've seen some stuff. I called somebody out on their on they shit pretty much, and they told me to pull up. Two weeks later, I pulled up, and I seen some shit, and I couldn't sleep for about 10 days, man. I might even lie you, you know what I mean? <laughs> I just got back my energy to make videos, what I've seen. You know what I'm saying? Um this world is crazy y'all y'all just gotta know that man and i tell everybody that to wake up like you gotta wake up don't let it get to a point when it's too late when you when you turn to my channel and you turn to different channels and you looking now for help when it's too late y'all it's too late that's all i gotta say man when it's too late man it's too late man wake up you know what i'm saying i encourage everybody to watch this video man to do your own research you know what i'm saying i'm not forcing my opinion i'm not forcing my videos on you but do your own research. See how it adds up. It's simple now, okay? So the kid stars when they're little, they're no longer the kid star and they get older. You see a resemblance. That's why they give you these age technology apps, these age technology that they say how you're going to look when you get older. You know what I'm saying? They do this because all they did is they have aged a mask for different stages when Raven gets older. And they have an actor or actress of your choice, which is Jada Pika playing that role. You see what I'm saying? This is why the whole Bow Wow and Little Mama connection is so weird to people. Why people can't figure it out. How can how can um, Little Mama be Bow Wow when we seen Bow Wow as a kid? We seen Little Mama as a kid and they look exactly alike as a kid. But this day's Bow Wow that we see in the day's Little Mama we see, we hardly ever see Little Mama. But when we see Little Mama, she's still... She doesn't look so much like Bow Wow as she used to. She looks more like Jada Pika Smith. 
You see what I'm saying? This is what they do. This is how they build their characters from NBA 2K, y'all. They putting it right in our face. They, they literally doing it right in our face. And I believe the masks that they're wearing are some dark ritual that we don't know about. You know what I mean? As you heard the Indians, how they used to disrespect the Indians by cutting up their face. And they put in their movies, y'all, faced off. Like, they did face off and they did, what's his name? Drive Travokov and, uh, what's his name? Something Cage. I forgot his, that dude did like 50 movies, but they did it with face off. And they did it in all other movies as well. They just swapping faces. You know what I'm saying? This is what they do, okay? With that said, much love and respect to everybody. Man, y'all have a good day.